In this video, we will discuss res ipsa loquitur. Res ipsa loquitur is a principle that helps a plaintiff to prove negligence because the accident speaks for itself. That is, because of the accident, the jury can presume that the defendant must have been careless. In the United States, to win a negligence lawsuit, the plaintiff must prove that the defendant owed her a duty to be reasonably careful, and that the defendant breached her duty of care. The defendant acted carelessly. Recipso loquitur is important because sometimes it is difficult for a plaintiff to prove that the defendant acted carelessly. For example, let's say Patty is walking down the street by Debbie's house. Suddenly, a refrigerator falls from Debbie's house, and Patty is hurt. So Patty sues Debbie for negligence. But it might be very difficult for Patty to prove exactly how Debbie was careless. After all, Patty didn't see Debbie do anything. Under these circumstances, Patty might be able to rely on res ipsa loquitur. To rely on res ipsa loquitur, a plaintiff usually has to prove two things. First, that the accident normally wouldn't have happened unless someone acted carelessly. Here, a refrigerator fell from a house. That's pretty unusual. It wouldn't have happened unless somebody acted carelessly. Next, the plaintiff should be able to prove that the defendant was in control of whatever caused the accident. Well, this was Debbie's house, Debbie's refrigerator. Who else but Debbie could have caused the accident? So, sure, Patty did not see Debbie do anything careless. But if the judge allows it, Patty will be able to rely on res ipso loquitur. The accident speaks for itself. The jury will be allowed to assume that Debbie breached her duty of care, that Debbie was careless. If you'd like to discuss res ipso loquitur or any other matter related to U.S. law, stop by the message board and please visit my blog. Also, feel free to send me an email and to submit your comments below.